Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today's video is going to be all about spring trends that are already in your wardrobe. That's right, sometimes I just look around stores when a new fashion season rolls around and I feel like I already own some of these things. It doesn't mean that I don't like updating my wardrobe for a new season, but I definitely want to pull out some older items that I already own and I thought I would talk you through those things in this video and show you some of the spring summer 2018 trends that I personally already have and hopefully I can inspire you to look through your own clothes and don't feel this pressure of having to update your wardrobe buying new stuff again because very often trends repeat themselves especially in fashion so I'm just hoping to show you this way that just by shopping your own wardrobe you might already be finding some things that are totally on trend so I've selected 10 different items for you that sort of represent what I feel I see a lot of brands do right now or that I just found in stores or that I'm like oh I don't need to buy that because I already own this or that one of the main trends I think this spring is bright yellows that's something that I see every store do it's all around and all these items are selling out really really quickly luckily for me I already own something like that um, this is a bright yellow and white striped dress from Zara that I've had close to four years now. Stripes are a print, of course, that are pretty timeless, but I think that stripes in this like very bright color, either in a green or a yellow, are definitely very trending for spring. This is just a skater dress. It has this like flare skirt, but it's definitely for me more about the color and the pattern that this has that is definitely trending for spring summer. Uh, yellow is a color that I find very difficult to pull off, but in the spring and summertime, it can just make an outfit look very fresh and very inspiring that way. So I definitely have a couple of yellow pieces, but not too many, but this is one of the items in my wardrobe that I felt was very much on trend for spring summer 2018. If we stick to the color scheme that I think that one of the main colors for spring summer, especially spring, are pastels again uh, and particularly lavender now this sweater i got from h&m again a couple of years ago and uh, this is just a nice chunky cable knit sweater but it's made of a cotton material which is why i love wearing this in the springtime because it's not too thick it's not too thin but it will still keep you vo uh, warm very nicely and it's just it has a little bit more of a shorter style to it so this is just a nice fresh item and lavender is going to be everywhere this spring summer so this is definitely a color if you already own it rock it now a color that was definitely trending in 2017 was red and uh, i definitely got on that bandwagon and tried to buy as many red items as i possibly could but it's definitely not gone for 2018 i feel but i think that this time around it's definitely something that is paired as a floral and actually the dress i'm showing you right now ticks up three trends in one a, it's red, two, it's a floral, it's a very big one, uh, and that's something you see as well. Big florals, uh, sometimes even more like almost cartoonish, this like 60s mod style is very much trending. I don't really own anything like that, but um, I do like a big bold floral like this, and I like the juxtaposition of the pink and the red in this dress as well. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is a button down front. This is a tea dress that I got from ASOS last. But at the end of summer, early fall, that's when I purchased this, so I haven't been able to get a lot of wear out of it yet. But I'm definitely glad that this kind of like tea dress style with the button downs, with the button down front is trending again. Because I see this, I see dresses like this on ASOS, on uh, like Vila, Vera Moda do them, a um, our Urban Outfitters are doing these again, and I think H&M is doing them now as well. So this is definitely a style of dress that I think is very trendy for this year, and uh, I'm lucky to already have something like that. You say pastels, you say pink, and especially Dusty Rose, I love a color like this. This like ruching and a ribbed fabric are again very much trendy this spring summer. So again, this little top that I got from H&M last year is definitely pulling in a couple of trends in Wongo. So again, if you have anything that's ribbed, especially if it's pink and if it has the ruching on the hems or whatever like that, then I think you're already good to go. So let's talk patterns for a moment. I already mentioned stripes and florals, but they are pretty standard. But what you see a lot right now is checked print trousers with a stripe running down the side. 
Now, these are pretty recent, I think, of any of the items I'm showing you today. This is like the newest item in my wardrobe. I showed this in my winter haul. I got these from Zara last late November, December, I guess. But this kind of style of pants is definitely trending for the spring summertime as well. Especially these like jogger styles that are a little bit more dressed up but especially the ones that have the stripe. And if you have this in a, a fun color or a far, fun print, then uh, this is definitely something that is very much still on trend. Sticking to patterns, uh, I also would like to mention the polka dot combined with pleat. Uh, pleats are definitely everywhere as well currently. So if you already have something like this, this is a vintage skirt that I bought in London two years ago. And this is just a very nice like navy polka dot printed skirt that goes with almost everything. So I love having this in my wardrobe, but polka dots especially, they are everywhere. You cannot get around polka dots this spring summer. And I think it's going to be personally my favorite print to wear this time uh, in 2018. Now, a pattern that I think not everybody will already own. I'm just a crazy person, I guess. And I uh, got a vintage skirt a while ago that has faces on it. And it's not very clear on the camera, I guess, but uh, it's got like Chinese or like Asian figurines all over this skirt. And I wanted to pull this in to show you because pop art and like faces on clothing items is definitely something that you see that you saw a lot on the runways. I'm not saying that this skirt is exactly that. I think it was again a little bit more stylized, a little bit more pop art. This is definitely more about the colors that are in this skirt, but you also have like some figurines and some faces on here. So when you move around in this, you definitely have these faces floating around, which I think goes well with the spring summer um, kind of trends that are going on right now. So a lot of the runways were showing a lot of like white, especially if it looked like very like innocent, almost Victoriana, a lot of ruching, ruffles, very cutesy. And I own quite a few items in my wardrobe that have broderie on glaze and that are white. And I think that that very much fits into the trend. I think these kind of items come back every single year for spring, summer. And I just like buying one or two every single time they roll around. Uh, they are usually a little bit more expensive. And this is a dress that I picked up on sale last year. It's a very nice, uh, like fully lined cotton dress with like this really nice um, detail on it as well. So again, this may be something you already own. Have a look around your uh, wardrobe because it's definitely something that, you know, everybody pretty much owns a white blouse, I guess. So that's something you can make work very easily. Something that has definitely come back this year is fringe detail. Uh, I'm not sure I will, you can see this. This is a kimono that I got from H&M again years ago. And it has this like nice embroidery all around it. And then it has the fringing at the bottom of the actual body of this thing. It's just a really nice, cute piece, I guess. And this has definitely come back. You now see this stitched onto shirts, onto bags, onto like everything, sometimes even more like feathery. But yeah, I already own a fringe item in my wardrobe. So again, if you still have that fringe suede jacket that was trending a couple of years ago, make sure you pull it out. And last but not least is again one of my personal favorites. I am seeing so many rep style dresses and tops. A rep style dress, if you are like me, I have quite a large chest, you could say. Then a wrap item like this is actually very flattering. But I already own this dress. I got this years ago. I think I bought this when I was still a student. Um, and I tend to wear this mostly in like the Christmas uh, time, uh, winter time area, because it's a really nice rich eggplant shade. Um, but these are done in polka dots in like so many fun shades for the spring summertime. But if you already have a wrap dress from years, years and years and years ago, uh, wrap items are definitely nothing revolutionary, but it's one of my personal favorites. And I'm really glad that I can already pull in a few of those items. So those were the spring trends that I personally already have in my wardrobe. I'm very curious to see what you already have. So please let me know in a comment down below if there are any spring trends that you can already source from your own wardrobe. And I really like you enjoy, enjoy this kind of video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe because I make new videos every single week. I'm aiming for two at the moment, but I'm not sure how long I'll be able to do that for. But right now I'm uploading on Thursday and on Sunday. So stay tuned for the next one. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.